What if Julian Alvarez does decide to leave Manchester City? Now, the rumours do have it that Atletico Madrid are currently looking at signing Julian Alvarez. The price tag is yet to be unveiled, but I think we'd be looking at anywhere upwards of £80 million for the guy as he's a top talent. But Julian Alvarez is seeking more guaranteed first team game time. Uh, I can understand the move if he did want to leave. I don't think City want uh, this to happen. Obviously, it's not the best way to go into the window. Uh, however, if this is a move that does happen, we're going to look at the options that we've got. Uh, firstly, hit do us a favour, hit the like button, subscribe channel if you are new. So, option one is sign a replacement. And this is probably the most difficult of the options as... Who do we get? Because... Julian Alvarez is a top, top talent and he sits underneath Haaland in the pecking order, hence probably why you would want the move. However, we've said this plenty of times with the CDM situation because of how good Rodri is, it's very hard to sign a backup because you can't guarantee that backup the game time. Now, going and getting a Bruno G, we can sit next to Rodri, we can kind of offer a little bit of a difference. Calvin Phillips was a big victim of this. He never really got any game time due to uh, Rodri and he never really stepped up to the levels that Rodri can do. And that's the issue. We've got Erling Haaland up top and Erling Haaland will start most of the games in the season. So, a replacement for Julian Alvarez to sign, honestly, no names come to mind as it stands. Um, I think City wouldn't be looking at spending too much cash on it, like an incredible amount. But I know we'd look at something like a first refusal or a buyback on Julian Alvarez in case he does smash it. But it's, it's a difficult one to sign a replacement. Now... Like I say, there's not really much to speak about on terms of us being linked with anyone, especially striker wise. I don't think it's. I think this would be a very much a curveball for City's transfer plans in this window. So I think we'd have to go look and scout out uh, different options out there. Now, I'd personally really like to see us get a replacement in because we know Erling Haaland's injury record isn't the best. Um, and I don't really want us to need to hammer Erling Haaland out every single game. So I would like us to go sign a replacement. I'm just not sure what quality that would be, given the fact that we can't really offer whoever comes in the game time that we can offer someone like Erling Haaland. Uh, option two is probably the easier of the options, but not one that I want us to do. As I just said, I would like a sign a replacement. I'm just not sure who that would be. Hence why I keep throwing out to you lot to comment below and let us know what is the Julian Alvarez replacement. I need to know. I need to scout these Donnies. I need to look at these people, man, because at the moment I'm drawing a blank. Uh, option two is sticking with the squad that we've got. Now, we've heard City are very much in the mind frame at this moment at a time of, of sticking with the squad and less players leave. Um, and obviously we know that we have been through seasons without a striker before. Now, obviously we will in Erling Haaland, but if we wanted to switch it up from Erling Haaland and obviously uh, Alvarez does leave, we still have that false nine system in our locker. We play, we've played it a few times last season. It worked quite well as well. And now we know that Phil Foden can play that position. Um, so playing Phil Foden basically up top, but in the false nine role, uh, with your wingers out wide, you know what I mean, your Grealish and your Doku, um, or Savio or whoever, whatever other winger comes in, should we get one? Um, I think that works for us. Um, it's, it's a system that I really like. Um, it's something that a lot of people were crying for us to bring back. I know when Erling Haaland was having a little bit of a bad time, not really scoring his chances. I say bad time guy, obviously still smashed it, but when it was not, it's not scoring the chances that we expect him to score, uh, people were genuinely considering reverting back to the false nine for a bit. Uh, we did it for a few months and it looked good. It looked good when Erling Haaland was injured. We, we we ran that false nine and it, we looked fluid again. So running the false nine is, is an option that we've got if Julian Alvarez does decide to leave this football club. Um, I just personally think we should be looking at a replacement because if, if, especially if he leaves on a permanent deal, like say if, this, if, if Atletico Madrid offer upwards of £80 million, I think he goes. Um, there are rumours that if Atletico Madrid can't get that £80 million or can't work a deal with City to sign him on a permanent basis, because City might not really want to let Alvarez go permanently, then a loan deal Atletico Madrid will look at instantly, um, as he is one of their top targets for this summer. So... They're the only real two options. Obviously, you could promote from youth and, and try and get some of uh, the, the younger CFG Donnies through 
and see if they can make a difference. But um, I think, re- in all honesty, City should be looking at making another signing should uh, Julian Alvarez leave. Now, obviously, it's been a quiet window for City so far. There's been rumours left, right and centre for different players, but they all seem to be getting shut down. Um, and we've seen nothing on strikers. So I do think this is a massive cur- curveball for City's transfer plans. I think um, I'm, I'm basically hoping that if this is to come to fruition. I hope it happens sooner rather than later. I don't want it, this this to happen in August or any time near the season starting uh, because then it becomes a little bit panic mode and I'm not really interested in... I don't really want us to go into panic buy mode and end, end up with uh, end up with a Wilfred Boney. Do you know what I mean? I don't, I, don't, I don't want anything like that. So let me know in the comment section below who's your Julian Alves replacement and would you be happy with going into the season... False nine mode when Erling Haaland isn't fit. Obviously, it's very important to remember we have Erling Haaland. Uh, but say Erling Haaland can't play or isn't, uh, or we want to switch it up, we don't have the option of another striker. Would you be happy to just run with false nine and stick with the current squad? Or are you set on us going and getting another striker? Let us know in the comment section below. See you in the next one. Blah, 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 blah.